Hello everyone, Doc on the clock with more Mag Mammal 3. Just updated to 1.02. And we have stuff. And now it's time to uh, go exploring the uh, hubs again. Albert seems unusually honest about his intentions, but he's tricked us before. Be on your guard. My best advice is to be fully prepared before going back into the tiers. Have you cleared the weapon tutorials? Break dash, invincibility, magnum beam sliding, and refreshing on the finer points of your arsenal could be invaluable. I know it sounds hard to believe, but we'll need to bury the hatchet for now. Once we've taken care of the mystery assailant, then we can go back to being enemies. Well, at least he's forthright. Uh, but these two had different things to say right after the cutscene. I'll go ahead and splice that in here. Uh, just cause I... <laughs> I didn't know, I actually wondered if it would preserve that if I reloaded, and, uh, it turns out it didn't. So, uh, one moment. Yeah, I, uh, I definitely did not want to be missing uh, Dr. L Dr. Light's uh, lines there, because that was actually kind of amusing. Hey, it's you again. You, pray. How have you been handling the simulation so far? I hope that you have been proving your strength. My gaze is always on you, Mega Man. Your scent, your sounds. I know where you've been and where you'll go to. And when the time comes for the finals, I know you'll struggle against the pressure of overwhelming odds. I'll see you there. I don't really feel like I'm going to struggle that much against that pressure, but okay. And here's Proto Man. Long time no see, Mega Man. Proto Man, what are you doing here? I have my reasons and you have yours, but here's some advice. Clearing these gauntlets won't be as simple as going down a list. There's more to them than first meets the eye. I've been surveying each area. If you see me, perhaps I'll share with what I've discovered with you. After you've claimed each gauntlet's main prize, that is. Really? Thanks, but how come you're helping me? Some would call it good sportsmanship. Now go and learn those ranks, and see you in the finals. He's talking like Hunter Woman. If he's participating, will I have to fight him? For now, I guess I should be glad he's helping me. So, Proto Man will have... info for us? Uh, well, I guess maybe I can check out Tier 1 briefly to see. Hey, buddy, can I see that travel brochure you're carrying around? Wow, we you can catch a bus from almost anywhere with this. Even tracks your tournament progress. What a high-tech piece of paper. This is top of the line. Yeah, it is, in fact, just paper, but apparently extremely useful paper. And I have everything in the uh, Tier 1 ruins, so I don't have to worry about anything there. Okay, I'm guessing the... Uh, Helmet stuff is, uh, upgrades. You're right! Now that I've got a rank, I can visit the buffet and bar. Glad we chatted. The Victor Heights buffet and bar is open. Contestants and tourney visitors gather here to be at ease and chat. You're authorized to proceed. Please comport yourself with dignity. Well, I will go there, but... Before I do that... Whew, things were tough, but I think we're past the initial wave of check-ins now. You'll never believe some of the luggage I had to cart around. Someone brought an entire fridge! We had to turn away the guests who tried to bring in another collection of inflatable tube men. 
But it's over now. Maybe I'm break it how it over the bar it did just open. Tube man, why? Hotel security, that's me. I have to check you for any questionable possessions, with your permission, of course. Uh... Sure. Well, you don't have enough ranks to enter the finals, and you haven't exhausted every source of energy elements out there. No kidding, I just finished Tier 1. Not enough Trister tokens yet to afford anything. If you want to trade your tokens, see Chance Man at the casino. Now then, bolts. I don't know if 1350 is enough, but there's still merch out there to buy. Like you plushies? No, that's a long-term hobby. Savor it. And, oh, never mind. You don't smell a free fish. Hmm, I was expecting you have one more item, but perhaps there's a corner of the hotel you have yet to explore. That concludes the security check. Please allow six to eight weeks to process your results and enjoy your stay. So apparently we need to get one more item. Oh, I can... Take the elevator to the bar? <coughs> okay, then. And here's the plushie collection. I only have two out of... 555. That number still throws me all the way off. <coughs> okay. I don't have any uh, spare capsules, apparently, so, uh... Check out the plaza. Here's Guts Man. Come on, doesn't anyone want to jump on some furniture and do karaoke? I've got all the best songs. DK Rap, The Girl in Tower, You Are Dead, Seven Rings in Hand, Birthday Cake, The Buck Bumble Theme... Ugh, Guts Man's playlist looks a lot like mine. Except, not with... <laughs> in, in terms of theme. Uh, I have a lot of video game music on my playlist. Not those specific tracks, though. Okay, uh... Looks like the people who are already there don't have anything new to say. There's Miss Quiz! Who called Miss Quiz? Who called Miss Quiz? It's okay to say, it's okay to play. Okay, five questions. Let's try it, I guess. Alright, 15 tiers. Not bad for a mere mortal. Uh, uh debatable. But okay. <laughs> Which of these isn't covered in the weapon tutorials for this tournament? Well, Hyper Beam is either a Metroid weapon or a Pokemon uh, move, but not a Mega Man weapon that I know of. Who is the person running this tournament? Earnest importance of being. I am so tempted. But, uh... You know, his truly earnest will. <laughs> the Thagomizer! I want spikes on my tail, but now is not the time. It's the, uh, it's the... Energy Balancer. How many points does a damage does your charge shot do usually? Charge shot traditionally does three points of damage, and that's what I was seeing in the stages. And we got a morale booster! A treasured amulet that lets you see the better side of life. Hold up to look upwards towards a brighter future. See the casino later. Alright. I have to think, have to remember that. And yeah, that gives us the ability to just very slightly look upwards. <laughs> the most important upgrade ever. Alright. That's still closed off. Regular Joe's portrait is up there. Are we gonna see portraits of the tier bosses in here? All right, I unlocked at least one more costume, so... 
It, oh yeah, it's Maestro. I, again, forget who this is from, but... I'm gonna unlock that, and uh, Cherno is there. I don't know how to customize costumes, so... Uh... Let's see, should I? Yeah, let's let's use Maestro for a little bit at least. I did say I was going to rotate around costumes here and there. Alright. Let's just let's head to the bar. Okay, apparently I can just enter the bar from multiple areas. But we have uh We've got plenty of NPCs here, so let's see what we've got. Gig account. Unsolicited advice? Why, you didn't even have to ask. Let's where, that, where this came from. One, you've got an unlimited retry, so don't be afraid to risk a few lives trying different strategies. I have been doing so. Two, there's chaotic fun to be had by going through the gauntlets with a group. Ask which man outside for details. I don't have anyone to play multiplayer with. If you're frustrated or tired, take a break. Take care of yourself, we'll still be here when you're feeling better. For sure. Hey, it's Rush Coil Man and Rush Jet Man. Hey, Maestro, what's been going on? I hope you've been using your utility as well. I heard a scary rumor that a Magna Beam device is going around, ruining the balance of the tournament. You've been using your Rush... Your, yeah, yeah, you've been using your Rush Coil well, haven't you? Tell me you have, you would never disappoint me, right? I have, in fact, been using Rush Coil here and there. Magnum Beam is good, but Rush does have its uh, moments. Look, I'll be honest with you, we tried to sell these costumes off, but no one wanted to buy them. And honestly, it sort of has some sentimental value to me. It's a representation of simple joy now. Er, I mean, I'm Rush Jetman, you know me, you remember me. Yes, you were, you were present in the last uh, contest, the 48-hour one. It is you! My long-lost father! I've wanted to meet you since I was a young gun. Can I pull you a cough a cap? I'm guessing Gunbo here is talking to Dangan Man. Dang. Also known as Bullet Man or whatever. A variety of names, apparently. Here's Idol Woman. Konnichiwa! Jill Pop here, aka Idol Woman, the biggest name of live entertainment this side of the building. You want music? Oh, I'll give you music. I know every tune from every corner of this event. I take requests. But I'm not just here to entertain. I'm here to support you and everyone who came here to compete. Call me a turning road. Really. A good performance starts backstage. If you ever want to talk shop about tools, equipment, or the idol biz, I'm your gal. Um, so song requests is probably, you can change the background music of this uh, location. Uh, so let, let, let's see, let's talk. If you want to put on a good performance, you've got to look the part. That includes your weapons. A new technology lets you give your core weapons a makeover once you've cleared the right simulations. Interesting. I hope I can eventually find a vendor here. So that's teasing that there's going to be other special weapons. However, we don't know what that is yet. And here's Palmhopper Mark 5 CRF. Uh, that's a mouthful of a name. You don't believe this crazy story? I saw some weird cart riding robot book it into this closet lot not too long ago. They must have really made themselves comfy because I haven't seen them come out since. Huh? Why haven't I gone in? Well, that's above my pay grade. You deal with it, honestly. Uh, we'll check that out in a moment. There's Sumatra. Ooh, even with a portrait. <laughs> that's a very nice portrait. Hey, the coffee here isn't bad. I've had seven cups today. I feel great. Seven cups of coffee, huh? I wonder if that has anything to do with the number of tanks I've used. Here's Nitron. 
Hey Maestro, welcome to the Victor Heights Bar and Buffet. I'm sure a lot of people here will be happy to see you. Guests come and go all the time, so make sure to check back often. Here's Mouse of Ale. What? I'm not a rodent. I work here. Us animal type robots need jobs too. With the cute portrait and everything. And now I have to see if that uh, up there is something I can talk to. Nope. Sometimes you never know. I carry a multitude of fine vintages from all the way back of 20XX. All day, every day. I get to thinking. Ever wonder what they put into Synthahol? Why you feel buzz? You know, I sometimes did wonder. Well, I looked it up on the interweb. Did my own research. Viruses. Small little viruses that force our anti malware systems to kick in. It's that damage and corruption to our software that we interpret as good vibes. Crazy, right? Could you imagine humans poisoning themselves like that just to feel good? That'd be ridiculous. Humans are logical beings of pure math and calculations. What possible reason would they ever stoop to that? You have to wonder how we strayed so far. For the record, here was the forefront of civilization. <laughs> On Sunday mornings, Easy Rider comes to me with apple cider, leaves me here without a place to go. Oh, right. Lyric. Random song lyrics. I got friends in low places where whiskey rounds and the beer chases my blues away. <laughs> I don't know either of those songs. You know how much I love to sing, but do I really want to be in front of a big crowd every night? More importantly, do I really want to let you call the front row the splash zone? No, I... To the second one, absolutely not. <laughs> Your song's my sucks. It'd be a perfect match. Just look at the crowd this bar has because of the live music. I count nine, maybe ten Matrix. This place is practically begging to be shut down by the fire marshal. You have low standards, uh, right man. I've got a bunch of connections, so I'm Ernest Wells' supplier of candy cigars. Do you think that, did you think they were real cigars? The smoke looks real, but it's just puffs of sugar dust. Still unhealthy, but better for the planet. I sold them a few other eco-friendly sugar products, but some things just can't be substituted. Candy wave bikes were a disaster. Yeah, yeah, uh... I don't think I'd want to try to ride a candy wave bike. <laughs> Alright. Who in the world are you? Cartman. <coughs> okay, Cartman then. Yeah, I knew you'd show up here eventually, my Are you ready? Huh, what am I supposed to be ready for? You don't know, by stepping in here, you've been entered into the thrilling and dangerous world of achievements. Yes, it's the Chivo Room. I thought the sign outside said trophies. Yes, achievements, exactly. Special challenges, unique suggestions for playing, check marks on a list, representations of pure accomplishment that directly inject adrenaline into your body. I've got a booklet of tasks built right here. You see, filled with a bunch of stuff you can do during the tournament. I can 100% guarantee you that completing each achievement will reward you with an untold sense of pride and accomplishment. Yeah! If you want to be a thrill seeker like I am, these are your first steps. Look upon my pamphlet with awe. And we got an achievement booklet. Anyway, now we can talk with this guy again. Social interaction, that's what I've been missing. How's your achievement book in, booklet looking? Want to hear a story? Let's check the achievements. All of these are very simple ones to get. But these are the ones that are completed. How can I see the ones that I haven't completed? Maybe I can from the menu? I can see some of them. Hmm. Okay, so... Uh, energy elements and tokens, all of that will just come naturally as I play the game. These are tier bosses. Uh, 
Interesting, it says talk to Bright Man, not there's so there's no boss at the uh, top tier, huh? Uh, these have no, uh... There's a lot of mystery achievements here, and some that have, uh, titles, but no actual... ...names. Or no actual descriptions. During a boss fight, blank. Kick the same blank 100 times. Look for something that can kick. Use blank on a blank while using blank. What? There's a lot of achievements here that do not tell me anything. <laughs> That's probably Magic Man. But apparently there's a bunch of, uh... Bunch of unknown things. Buy all upgrades, buy all costumes, Simp uh, straightforward enough. Now upgrades for the Lord of Much Joking? I have no idea who that is. Buy all the CDs in the Neo Pit of Pits. That's, uh, that's gonna be a long ways away. Buy all cheats from Eddie's Cheat Shop. Oh, there's, so there's, uh, so cheats are bought. Hmm. Mini Boss Arena, Robot Master Arena, Fortress Guardian Arena, and Judge's Choice Arena. And True Arena. Arenas, <laughs> that's gonna be coming. Collect like 3,000 bolts. A bot of culture. I'm guessing that's uh, the gotchas. Something about fish. The, uh... The canon mentions something about that, too. So we've still got a lot to do. Alright, but I'm curious about the fish, for the first thing. Uh, well, yeah. Hi there, a scaredy cat in the hatch. Hey, the tournament had a couple of creepy, startling surprises I wasn't ready for. And then again, everything scares me. Fortunately, it's too dark to see anything scary in here. Like, whatever it is above me, that's growling and drooling. Yeah, yeah, like, the dragon that you're inside... Uh, okay, then. <laughs> Alright. Hold slide to respawn. Okay, I, uh... <coughs> I zoomed through that because I wasn't sure if it was the same, the same thing or not, but, uh... Well, folks, it was bound to happen eventually. A competitor has been ejected from the tournament for cheating. Princess, also known as Princesa, was caught turning in a pile of phony ranks to secure a place in the finals. Suspicions were raised when she claimed she'd fought 20 tier bosses, including a deity and a glass of milk. I think maybe she was pulling from the wrong contest. The close inspection, tournament staff confirmed that her ranks were, in fact, made of cardboard from a greasy pizza box. Bad idea. Nice costume. I was thinking about buying that one. How's the fit? Do you like how it looks in the mirror? That is a costume, right? If not, uh, they're selling your likeness upstairs. Hey, Tomahawk Man, how, how about you? I'm a product of another time, built for a tournament long past, designed without due authenticity. Now I compete to see the world, learn from my rivals, and use my fame and winnings to serve and educate. Please join me for my seminar next week, titled, This Thing on My Axe is a Double Axe, Not a Tomahawk. 
That is most likely true. Well, I visited a lot of uh, that stuff too. And now we're going to call it a night here. But uh, next time, we're going to go to the casino and maybe play a few of the games. That's all for me for now. Until next time, this is Doc. I'll see you later.